welcome to this an episode with Act Thomas. Today we're doing a TV slash movie review. This time we are going to be doing a Doctor Who episode called School Reunion. Now, in this episode, the Doctor and Rose have become aware that there is a school that has recently gone from not being very good to being one of the best schools in London. All because of a new headmaster. Now, with the Doctor and Rose wanting to um, take interest in the school, uh, the Doctor going under the alias of John Smith gets a job there as a teacher and Rose gets a job there as a worker in the canteen and over the time they realise that the school is almost perfect there is all the children do as they're told they always do their homework they never run in the corridors they they're never cheeky to teachers they're almost too good and the doctor can't really work out what's going on but rose working in the canteen realizes that it's mandatory for all students to have school dinners so no pat lunches from home or anything like that you have to eat food from the school and one thing that the school has done on all of the menus for the entire week is chips always whatever it is always has chips with it now around this point um the doctor's old companion from many many years ago sarah jane smith who is a reporter has also cottoned on to the fact that there's something mysterious going on with this school. So, she has uh, come in to investigate as well. Under the guise of after school hours, she breaks in to see if she can f figure out what's going on. At the same time, the Doctor and Rose are going around the school as well. And they uh, they bump into each other, and it's a big surprise for for Sarah Jane because as soon as she sees the TARDIS, she realizes that the Doctor is investigating as well, and it brings back all those memories for her because the Doctor just abandoned her one day on Earth. And she never got to say goodbye to him. Right. Um, the doctor has taken a sample off the chip fat oil. And wishing that um, he had some kind of equipment to analyse the, the oil. Um, Sarah Jane says, unfortunately, canine the dog, the metal robotic dog that the Doctor gave her many, many years ago that used to do adventures with him, has shut down. The Doctor reactivates him and makes, gives him a, a little bit of the oil and becomes, gives him all the information about what's in the oil and why are they being used. So... After the Doctor has worked out that the Headmaster and a few of the teachers aren't really human, but a um, type of alien, a race of aliens called the Krillotanes that the Doctor has in the past had dealings with. 
like I said, um, once the Doctor, Rose, plus with Mickey and Sarah Jane, split up and try and uh, work out what's going on. He sends Sarah Jane off to do um, work out if there's anything going on with the computers, using um, computer software and to almost meddle with the children's minds. Sends Rose off to the canteen to see if, um, to see if he can do anything with the chip fat, chip fat, because they've worked out that there's something to do with the chip. The chip fat is making the children extra intelligent, and he leaves Mickey outside to um, keep a lookout, while the Doctor has a face to face with the headmaster, Mister Finch who is the head of this group of aliens. After they... After, after a discussion about why are they here, what are they doing, it becomes very clear to the Doctor that he must stop them. At this point, the Doctor gets Rose, Sarah Jane and Mickey to try and evacuate all the, all the students because there is only one way to stop these aliens and he, Doctor, has worked this out. Using K9, he lures them into, into the kitchens where all of the oil for the chip fat oil are all in there that will um, it's, uh, impregnating the, well not impregnating, but interfering with the children and making them incredibly intelligent so they can work better and be and help the, the killer teams out. Um, by the time they get them into the kitchens, K9 has worked out that giving the, um, the distance between the kitchens and the escape route, he can't make it. And he says, there's no point in me carrying, trying to. He tells the Doctor to escape, lock the door after him, and leave the rest to K-9. The Doctor is very sad about this, and he says, I don't want to, you know, you know you've been a good companion, good boy, thank you, I'll always remember you. And he leaves, leaving K-9 to detonate the chip fat oil and destroy all the aliens and himself and blow up the school. Later on um, the Doctor, Rose, Mickey and Sarah Jane are talking and the Doctor suggests to her would you like to come back into the TARDIS for one more journey and she says no I've spent so many years wanting to but now that you're the op options there, I don't want to. I think it's time that I move on with my life. I've said my goodbyes and I don't need to, to do it anymore. But it's at this point where Mickey suggests that he wouldn't mind going on a journey in TARDIS with the Doctor and Rose. And S Sarah Jane says, there should always be a Smith in the TARDIS. And so, the Doctor accepts it. And Sarah Jane is left outside while the Doctor, Rose and Mickey go off into the TARDIS. And as it disappears, she's about to turn away, but she realises that there's something there. The, t the Doctor has rebuilt a new canine for Sarah Jane to look after. And they go off and do more adventures together. Well, that is the end of Doctor Who School Reunion. This episode, I'm going to give a rating of number two. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.